got another good one for you today. Two CSF alums doing a scene together. Ben Bonenfant and Jamie Ann Romero played many, many roles at CSF for nearly a decade. Leading roles, character roles, comedies and tragedies, they've done it all. They've gone on to big careers nationally, but they've sent us a treat today from New York. A scene from the roles they might be most remembered for, CSF's 2011 production of Romeo and Juliet. Enjoy. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. It is, my lady. Oh, it is my love, all that she knew she were. Her eye discourses. I will answer it. Ooh, I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Oh, see how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I may. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's a Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. <laughs> or be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo. Doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus bescreened in night so stumblest on my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. Art thou not Romeo? And a Montague? Neither, dear saint, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I approach these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do that dares love attempt, therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they see thee, they will murder thee. I have night's glove to hide me from their sight. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued, wanting of thy love. <laughs> thou knowest, the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush bepaint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke, but farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word, but if thou swearest, Thou mayest prove false. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear that tips with silver all these fruit trees. Oh, up. swear not by the moon. The inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by then? Do not swear at all. <laughs> or if thou wilt swear by thy gracious self which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love... No, do not swear! Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. This bud of love, thy summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night. Good night. A sweet repose and rest 
come to thy heart as thou within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. <laughs> I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Madam! I hear some noise within. Dear love, at you. Anon, good nurse! Sweet wanted you be true. Stay but a little, I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night! I'm afeard being in night. All this is but a dream, too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night. Indeed! If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose, marriage, send me word tomorrow, and all my fortunes at thy foot I will lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! I come anon! But if thy means is not well, I do beseech thee. Madam! To, by and by, I come! To cease thy suit and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive, my soul. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst to want thy life. Mm. Hist! Romeo! Hist! For a falconer's voice to lure this tasseled gentle back again. At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. I shall not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here until thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there remembering how I love thy company. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. It was going so well. I messed up. Nice oh, way. I had it right. Do we want to try one more time or do you, do you think we have it?